Welcome back to LOL Gaming. Skibidi Toilet Season 15 has ended with Episode 47, and we have new clues about TV Man, as well as the mysterious character at the end of Episode 47, which to some extent also gives us a little extra clues about the world of Skibidi Toilet. In addition, we will also analyze the deleted video of Defook Boom, what can be considered a deleted Skibidi Toilet episode. However, before starting the video, please like and subscribe so you won't miss the analysis videos on our channel. Let's hit 1,000 likes together and now, let's go. Officially joined the war from episode 39 and proved to be very powerful characters, TV Man left us with many questions. Who are they? Where do they come from? Are they friend or enemy? Today we will answer one of the above questions. Who is TV Man? TV Man are mysterious characters and the newest member of the Alliance. They wear a long dark gray button coat, dark gray pants, and dark gray shoes. They have an old TV as their head that is constantly turned on static. The TV's static color changes depending on what ability or power the TV man is using. Up to episode 45, three types of TV have appeared. Normal TV man appears from episode 38, Big TV man comes from episode 40, and Titan TV man, or the upgraded cinema man, from episode 41. Normal TV man emits blue light, has the ability to freeze Skibidi Toilet and control Parasite Toilet. The Big Man TV emits white light that disturbs the Skibidi Toilet. Titan TV man emits a red light that can directly destroy the Skibidi Toilet. Also in episode 44, we see a mysterious figure on the roof watching the battle. This could be a new type of character that is teased and will appear in the future. This could also be a new type of TV man because his screen is not turned on. If so, this TV man will act like a scout, and this opens up a new theory that we will discuss shortly. So who is TV Man? The presence of TV Man was teased from episode 34 to episode 38. Look closely. Episode 34. A TV Man is standing and watching in the back. Episode 35. A character with a white screen right before cameraman running into the alley. Episode 36, 37. A TV man stands on the bridge behind the giant Skibidi toilet. In addition, if the theory of the fourth type of scout TV man above is true, then maybe TV man has been there since season one and we couldn't see them because their screens were off. So TV Man has been watching this war for a long time, since the beginning possibly, and they decided to join the Alliance. Why? TV Man proves to be very powerful characters, possessing godly abilities such as telekinesis, teleport, self-upgrade, and are the only characters capable of speaking human language. However, TV Man's lines were reversed. Let's listen to what TV Man said from episode 38 to episode 47. Now let's reverse them and make them a little faster. Disgusting. Authentic trap. You are so bad. What do we see from these sayings? TV men are extremely confident in their strength and always sees everything as a game. Although Titan TV Man was defeated in episode 47, it was an unequal battle when Titan TV Man stepped right into G-Man's trap. 
However, Titan TV Man still successfully escaped and season 15 ended. Based on their special abilities, their speaking lines, especially in episode 39, and the attitude of the skibidi toilets when they see TV Man appear, we can guess the origin of TV Man is completely unusual. Remember that even Titan Cameraman or Titan Speakerman when they first appeared could not make the skibidi toilets panic like that. It's like these Skibidi toilets have faced TV Man before and are absolutely awestruck by their power. Also, recent episodes of Skibidi Toilet have clearly have more effort into them, both animation and lore. So TV Man's complicated origins are entirely possible. While this would be a far-fetched prediction, I think TV Man is the force that has been behind the fight playing the role of maintaining balance for both the Alliance and Skibidi Toilet, or at least they are the army of that force. Think about that. TV Man appeared after the scientists created the Parasite Toilet, which resulted in the Titan Speakerman being infected and the Alliance taking heavy losses. The balance of the two factions was broken, so in episode 34, TV Man was there to instruct the cameraman to create the anti-parasite gun to turn the tide. However, after all efforts to save Titan Speakerman failed, TV Man decided to join in on their own. The show must continue. This could be TV Man's encouragement to cameramen, but it could also mean that the balance of the fight must be re-established. Just like that, the show can be continued. In addition, TV Man's abilities such as extremely strong defense, hypnosis, telekinesis, teleport, are all abilities that are characteristic of entities of a higher level in any game. Do you play Fortnite Battle Royale? Imagine Cameraman, Speakerman, Skibidi Toilet as players, and TV Man as imagined order. Arrow point is imploding. We've lost control. Save yourself. If I don't stop this, it could destroy all existence. You have your orders. Now get out of there. I'm going to do what we should have done from the very start. I'm going to the seventh. You took an oath. You were trying everything we could. Does this theory seem hard to believe? Maybe this video will change your mind a bit. This is a music video created by the creator of Skibidi Toilet himself, Dafuk Boom aka Blue Grey long before the Skibidi Toilet series was born. What do we see in this video? The male protagonist resembles the character in Dafuk Boom's avatar and also resembles the mysterious character at the end of episode 47, the appearance of Cameraman and ultimately TV Man. We could point out a few differences in this TV Man character's appearance, but that's not the most interesting point. The most interesting point is that this TV man was supposed to be representing a higher force, the government, the rulers, which is this mysterious silhouette. In the mind of the author, Da Fook Boom, TV man is just a representation of a higher force, whether in this music video or the Skibidi toilet series. However, all these are just theories, and things can be changed or clarified at any time in the next episodes. What do you think? Did I miss any details? If you like my theories, please like and subscribe to help this video reach more people. In the next episodes, we will try to answer the questions where TV Man comes from, whether TV Man is friend or enemy, what is their real purpose. So don't miss out. And now let's check out the most interesting comments from our previous video. The latest comment about Parasite Toilet Scientist Toilet will create more and more new varieties of Parasite Toilet. And indeed in episode 47, we saw the flying Parasite Toilet. The most interesting comment about Titan Speakerman's fate, after the battle in episode 45, Speakerman will be upgraded by Scientist Toilet to become a complete Skibidi Toilet. There will be no redemption arc for Titan Speakerman, at least until he is destroyed. The next two comments are also very interesting. Why TV Man didn't use hypnosis, and how is human being transformed into Skibidi Toilet? Hopefully, the next episodes of the series will help unravel the veil of secrecy surrounding these TV Man characters. And now comment on your theory about TV Man, or interesting details you discovered about these characters. I will choose the most interesting comments for the next video. See you again! Michael out! Cheers!